Switching your primary domain in Google Workspace sounds intimidating, but it's absolutely doable. Actually, it's often inevitable when you are rebranding, consolidating domains, or just cleaning up your setup. Today we'll do it together, step by step, and let's begin. Your primary domain is the backbone of your Google Workspace. It's the default domain where all your users and settings live. So why would you want to change it? Well, maybe you have rebranded or you are consolidating your organization under a new identity. Whatever the reason is, Google Workspace makes it possible, but you'll need to approach this carefully. Before you change your primary domain, there are a few key things to prepare for. You'll need to migrate all user accounts from the current domain to the new one. Next, reassign any Google Drive files, emails or shared folders tied to the old domain. Also, don't forget to review third-party apps connected to your domain, as these might require adjustments. And finally, update the DNS records for your new domain to ensure all services continue running smoothly and trouble-free. With these steps covered, you'll be ready for a seamless transition. Now let's walk through the steps one by one. Log in to the Google Workspace Admin Console using your Super Admin account. Navigate to Domains and click Manage Domains. Here at the bottom click Change Primary Domain and Continue. Select the domain you want to make as primary and save the changes. Google will prompt you with the uh, confirmation, review it carefully. Next, update your DNS settings for the new primary domain. This is important for email delivery and other services to work seamlessly. First click Activate Gmail. The most common way is to set up by using MX record, so make sure you select Set up MX record and click Next. On the next screen, you'll see a list of all users currently belonging to this domain. You can also add new users here. Once ready, click Proceed with activation. The system will then ask you to choose your domain host. Use the drop down menu to find the host and click Continue. Finally, you'll receive your Gmail activation code. This is the key information you need to paste into your domain's DNS settings to complete the process. Once this is done, Google may take anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours to propagate the changes. Be patient. Here are some bonus tips for a smooth transition. Communicate the changes to your team in advance. Let them know about your plans to make this transition. Use Google's migration tools for better file and email transfers. Test everything with a few accounts before rolling it out organization-wide. And this is it! Changing your primary domain in Google Workspace doesn't have to be overwhelming when you follow these steps. If you found this guide helpful, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips to make your Google Workspace experience even better. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one!